What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and what if I told you we can make your man feel like an idiot for rejecting you, for pulling away, for not committing, for getting in his own head, whatever it is. Guys can regret it. Guys will feel like an idiot. You just have to do what I'm going to say in this video, okay? So jumping right into it, I'm going to be very redundant here so I apologize because I said it or I, I guess hinted at it in my last video but I really want to double down on the fact that humans are very very risk avoidant and again I said this in my last video but I want to apply it to this so you kind of understand how the male mind works so first off when a man pulls away from you or a man rejects you um, or uh, meaning when I say rejects, I mean like go your separate ways cut type of thing. Not literally like, hey, you want to go on a date? Oh no, I only see you as a friend, sorry. But I mean, you two were talking, texting, interested, swiped right on each other, went on dates, whatever, context built, and then he got in his own head and he pulled away. When that happens, here's the good news, ladies. It's not that a guy doesn't like you, right? But liking you and wanting a relationship are two completely different things. And unfortunately what happens is guys get wrapped up into either the fantasy or the idea of it. They like the woman and the assets she has a lot. Or the context between you two, meaning the things you guys do and say that creates a serious vibe. It's not created yet. So he doesn't feel the pressure. So he sees an attractive woman, you, right? He's talking to her, hanging out, having fun, hooking up, going on dates, initiating, over-promising, over, you know, under-delivering, pretty much love-bombing, whatever it is. And um, the context builds. And he knows, okay, I like her, but to obtain these assets that she has, they come at a cost. He knows to get these assets, he has to invest his resources, time, energy, effort, money, and things like that. And that's the stuff that creates context. Now with that, if it builds up and you two are on two different pages, uh, you're going to get a guy that pulls away. And again, I know you know all this, but bear with me. You're going to get a guy that pulls away. But the reason he's pulling away isn't because he doesn't like you. It's because he's unsure about a relationship, which goes back to risk avoidance. If it was up to the guy... He would keep you right here, ladies. He would keep you right here in the middle. Because if he goes over here to relationship, something he's unsure of, nah, I don't want that. But if he cuts you off completely, um, I, don't, I don't want that either. Um, so a guy, if it was up to him, he would keep you right in the middle. But a lot of the times when they pull away, it's, it's, they feel like it's in their best interest, again, risk avoidance, because you're looking for something serious and they're not. Now... To get a guy to regret this, you have to, if, he, if he's trying to keep you here, but you cut, you know, he pulls away, you have to shove him completely over to this side where it's like, okay, well then you get no access to me. You get nothing out of me. I had a client the other day who was, who was thinking if she should uh, delete a guy on everything. And depending on other videos and what I say in my guides and all that, there's a lot of um, variables at play. But if a guy, if you want to get a guy to regret losing you in a situation where he says, I can't give you a relationship, you need to be a high value woman and say, hey, that's completely un uh, not understandable. I guess you should be pissed. But you need to let him know that, um, okay, cool, but this this is it then. Like, I, I want a relationship. You can't give me that. F all this, let's be friends thing. Why? Because he still gets access to your time, women. Your value is based on your time and who you're intimate with. I mean, when I say your value, I mean in the dating market. Like you want to put a lot of value on your time and who you're intimate with. You should not be friends with some guy who you want more with. Um, he will he will win that. Why? Because he still has access to you in some degree, and guys like that because again, you're right here. It's not cut off. I can come back to it whenever I want, but. We'll get into why that's a problem. Uh, you know, I'll come back to it whenever I want type of thing. And he will eventually take you for granted. This guy will take you for granted. This guy will know that you like him, which is why you're agreeing to this. Um, 
and things like that. But what a high value woman needs to do to get a guy to feel like an idiot is to cut him off completely and work on herself and becoming a higher value woman. You do not want, if he comes back three months later, you do not want to be the same chick. You don't want to be looking the same. I'm not saying change yourself for a guy, but you know how that motivation is when you get, you break up, you know, you want your fucking revenge body or you want your, you know, you're going to focus, you have more time to focus on yourself. You might, you know, you want to feel good. So you go get your hair done. Like you want to be a completely different person again not for him that's just a side effect of you know working on yourself and valuing yourself and loving yourself when he comes back around and you got that new hairstyle you dropped x amount of weight you got that revenge booty whatever it is you're you know he might hear through the through the, through the fucking uh grapevine that you're talking to some other guy if you guys are mutual friend or have a mutual friend group all that kind of stuff. I cannot tell you, ladies, how much it makes a guy squirm. And here's why. A lot of the times, women will come to me and say, why does he get jealous when I'm talking to other guys or I mention other guys, but he doesn't want to jump into a relationship? It's assets. It goes back to what I said earlier. It's all about assets, ladies. Just because a guy doesn't want a relationship doesn't mean he doesn't like you. He still wants assets. And you have to understand, in terms of risk avoidance, we were... He, he was in the best possible position. He wasn't in a relationship, but he was getting the assets of one, okay? But now, because of his decision, he is losing that, and you are giving him to somebody else. So somebody else, you know, this competition is going up, and he is going down. Now, of course, a lot of you may say, um, well, he... He's talking to other women. He's doing this. He's doing that. He doesn't really care. We didn't end well. Okay, well, then that's just unfortunate. You know, it's it's not like you're entitled to this guy. If that's the case and he's talking to other women or he's dating someone else, okay, move the... Hey, I'm talking to you now. Move the fuck on. <laughs> like, grow up, get a pair, and move the fuck on. Um, but other than that, it, I tell women, when you want to get a guy to regret it, he has to truly believe, number one, that he's lost you. And number two, don't even worry about the outcome. Just do your own thing. As long as you do your own thing, everything's going to be okay, ladies. Trust me, you can get guys feeling like an effing idiot if they do this. And if you want more on this, on especially no contact, how to get a guy to like you, what guys commit to, all that kind of stuff, Link down below is a, a bundle of my guides, six guides. Again, it will tell you everything you need to know about the dating market, dating theory, psychology, what men think, what men want, what men commit to, how to do no contact with do when he comes back around, how to regain power, how to get a guy to regret losing. I talk about it all, okay? So with that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.